wild truffle found growing on Paris rooftop. In a first for the City of Lights, wild truffle was found growing on a Paris rooftop. The foodie's fungus was discovered chilling at the base of a hornbeam tree in a hotel rooftop garden close to the Eiffel Tower. Food connoisseurs are excited because truffles are usually found farther south in warmer climates, where they're dug up by specially trained dogs or pigs. The type of truffle found in Paris isn't the most prized, but it still goes great with scallops, sausage, or potatoes. The 25 gram winner truffle was taken to the National Museum of Natural History. Paris has been pushing for more urban gardening and has a goal of developing around 100 acres of office and building rooftops over the next two years. Well, now that you can grow truffles up there, there'll probably be no shortage of volunteers. Get your recommended daily dose of Tomo. Keep watching. This could be the solution to world hunger. Researchers in Finland have successfully made food from electricity and carbon dioxide captured from the air. So could this new technology help feed the world? The food creating system uses a bioreactor, which contains water, microbes and nutrients such as nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. The electric current triggers electrolysis of the water, and with carbon dioxide captured from the air, the end result of the chemical reaction produces a powdery edible compound. The compound contains more than 50% protein, 25% carbohydrates, and the rest is fats and nucleic acids. The bioreactor can be set up anywhere with renewable energy, such as solar power or wind energy. No word on how this stuff tastes, but who cares when according to the UN, 795 million people are undernourished globally, and another 2 billion people are expected to join them by 2050. Maybe, just maybe, this could help. Indoor vertical farm near New York City uses less water and produces more. The world's largest indoor vertical farm is well on its way to producing millions of pounds of food a year while using less water. Last December, Arrow Farms Incorporated secured $20 million of venture funding, paving the way for its 70,000 square foot facility in Newark, New Jersey. Now, the company is on track to produce 2 million pounds of food a year. The facility houses an efficient aeroponic vertical farm system that uses 95% less water than conventional commercial field farms and 40% less than hydroponic farms. The farms use no sunlight or soil, Instead, the plants are housed on shelves and sprout out of a cloth medium made of post-consumer recycled plastic. Each cloth takes 24 plastic water bottles out of the waste stream. An aeroponic system mists the plant's roots with water, nutrients and oxygen. The closed system allows the farm to use less water. An LED lighting system is programmed to create a specific light recipe for each plant. This gives the greens the exact spectrum, intensity, and frequency they need for photosynthesis in the most energy efficient way possible. The programmed lights allow farmers to control the size, shape, texture, color, flavor, and nutrition of the foods produced. The cloth medium separates the plants from the nutrient-rich mists, allowing for fresh, clean, and dry produce to be harvested. Once harvested, the cloth medium can be fully sanitized and reused on new crops. By using the aeroponic and LED systems, farmers can monitor plant growth and tweak and track changes to allow for further improvements to the system. The AeroFarm system is also customizable. The company hopes to build farms in different sizes and configurations to grow food in varied locations with the most efficient yield per square foot, no matter the space. AeroFarms aims to have 25 facilities around the world in five years. The company's farms can each rotate among 22 varieties of crops a year. Solar-powered floating farms could help feed the world. Barcelona-based company Forward Thinking Architecture has developed a solar-powered floating farm system that could ease growing global food demand. Smart Floating Farms, or SFF, was inspired by traditional grid-shaped fish farms in Asia. Each SFF is 200 meters wide and 350 meters long, roughly the size of six football fields. They can be connected to form a cluster of modules. Photovoltaic panels are installed on the top level to harvest sunlight for electricity, and it has rainwater collectors for irrigation purposes. Other renewable energy technologies such as micro wind turbines may also be added. 
The second level is a greenhouse for the vegetables, which are grown without soil under the hydroponic system. The plants receive natural light from the skylight opening. The ground level is used as a fish farm on the open sea and features a fish egg hatchery, a slaughterhouse and a storage room for the fish. By using farms in nearby waters as a food source, the SFF can help reduce reliance on imported food. All the modules are centrally controlled by software via cloud technology. The production data will be analyzed and can be used to make comparisons on the food needs for specific cities. Each SFF is estimated to have a maximum production of just over 8 tons of vegetables and slightly over 1.7 tons of fish per year. The floating farms are ideal for densely populated cities near coastal areas, such as Los Angeles, New York, Tokyo, Singapore, and Hong Kong. As the world's population increases, food demand is expected to increase 50% by 2030 and 70% by 2050. Movable skyscraper designed to boost African agriculture. A movable building designed to bring an agricultural revolution to impoverished African communities has won first place in a prestigious design contest. Designed by a team based in Poland, the Moshamba skyscraper won first prize in the 2017 E-Volo skyscraper competition. The Moshamba skyscraper is made with modular elements, which are stacked one on top of the other. The building will provide training in agricultural techniques, along with modern agricultural tools, a drone service, and a trading hall. Agriculture based around the skyscraper is expected to flourish. After a local community becomes self-sufficient, the building will be moved to another community. The Evalo skyscraper competition received 444 projects this year. Vertical factories in megacities, designed by a team from the US, came second. Third place went to Espiral 3500, a spiraling vertical structure by Spanish designers.